Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. God, I glorify you on today. I magnify your holy name. I lift you up, O oh God. I'm listening to some um, Ja'Kayla Carr. Um, stay with me. I love this song, you guys, because we need him to stay with us at all costs. We need him to be with us when we walk this journey, when we run this race. We need him to stay with us. God bless you guys. God bless you. God bless you. I had to come back up because um, I was listening to that video um, that I had did on yesterday and I said, wow, they might not even understand what I'm talking about. <laughs> And so I had to come back up here. My husband told me not to take it down because some may be able to figure it out. That's not good. But I'm going to leave it up. But I'm going to come up here and I'm going to give more clarity. God bless you. God bless you. I'm not waiting for anyone. I'm listening to some um, Ja'Kayla Carr. She said, Lord, stay with me. I just need you to stay with me. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to your holy name forever. Ye kana my soul. Oh, hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. I'm just waiting. Um, for this song to go off because I love this song and I'm going to go into the message that I had yesterday and I wanted you to know exactly my purpose and my reason for doing what I'm doing okay because it has everything to do with you it has everything to do with my family it has everything to do with our world and so we are on a mission here God is calling us not to be famous not to gain platforms but to lead the people out of the darkness into his light so they will be able to be redeemed Dean and come into the place that God has designated for them to be. Oh, hallelujah. I'm listening to some Stay With Me. God bless you, woman of God. So good to see you, sis. Oh, hallelujah. I'm going to cut this off. I'm going to cut this off. Hallelujah. I love this song. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, husband. So good to see you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um, Yesterday, as you know, I spoke on... Um, um, how the um, the builders had set up this system and I kind of confused it looked like um, um, it was kind of confusing when I went to listen to it and so I said to myself I'm gonna have to go back up and bring more clarity God bless you um, sister Jennifer so good to have you up here um, um, prophetess Tracy so good to have you up here woman of God hey husband love you thank you for joining me um, I just wanted to say um, that um, there are so many things that we were brought into without knowledge. It's so many things that we were brought into ignorantly. We don't know um, because we just follow protocol. We just followed the way of our, our, our parents, our forefathers, and those that um, were behind us. And so we don't understand a lot of the things that we do. And so I wanted you to know that um, Satan is setting things up to a magnitude where he's trying to now make entry into the door of the spiritual man. I said the door of the soul, the door of the soul in which the spirit of God has a partial part of himself inside of us. They want to gain access to that. And they're calling it the um, God particle. But I'm not going to go directly into that. I'm going to go um, into the message from yesterday because I want to kind of give more clarity on that. Uh, as you notice, I um, set up some of the um, pictures um, dealing with Santa, dealing with um, Christianity and the Roman Catholic Church. I wanted you to understand that we have been lied to. We have been deceived. And um, no one is to blame. Um, you just went after protocol. It's not good to 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 just go with what people say. Um, I know we've been doing that for eons, but it's not good to do that. I also want to say that um, I'm not trying to knock anybody's holiday. I'm not trying to make anybody feel bad for what they're doing. I'm not trying to do any of that. You know why? Because I did the same thing. I, I love trees. I love all of those things because these are things that we have good memories about because they had to create the fantasy. They had to create the delusion to keep us holding to it. But we need to understand what the truth is. We need to understand what this thing is all about in the name of Yahshua Hamashiach, the one that came and opened up a spiritual door of light for us to go into and that door is directly connected to you and so I wanted to say that on yesterday I was trying to explain how the builders had built their system and I wanted to say that for you that have come um, into the Lord and God may want to use you in a miraculous way but you feel that you are not significant you feel that you are not the one that God can use look let me tell you something God go to the low places of life to get the ones that he want to utilize because he don't want anybody glorifying themselves. He don't want any, we're going to go, that's where we're going to go first. We're going to go to 1 Corinthians, okay? 
1 Corinthians for you that think that um, people are not qualified. I'm going to go to 1 Corinthians first, okay? I want you to know that... Um, for you to think that you are not qualified, God go to the low places to pick those that he have chosen. You notice that when Yahshua was born, when he came into this world, he came in on ground zero. He did not come from the top. He came from the bottom. He came from the bottom. You could not, he did not want people to know he was coming. Although they were studying the stars, although they knew then that he was coming, they knew that a, a special one was coming, a one that had light that did not connect to their system, and they awaited his coming. And so he didn't come in through the top. Uh -uh, that's Satan. Okay. That's Satan. I remember many years ago when the Lord had given me some pictures um, during the period of my incarceration 32 years ago. And one of the pictures was the star of David. And he showed me how that picture came about. And so, um, because, because a lot of people don't know what these symbols mean. A lot of people don't know why these things are in place. Satan, who told the Lord that we were with him, that we got a part in this. He's here to prove you, to prove whether or not you love this God you say that you love, to prove whether or not you're going to serve him with all of your heart in spite of the opposition. And you got to understand that in order for you to find real truth, truth that matters, truth that's directly connected to you in the world, you're going to have to give up everything that you know and that you've learned in the world. And that's not a hard, that's not an easy thing to do because it takes time to seek him. It takes time to go after him. It takes time. You can't do that. If you have a full-time job, if you are um, a parent, if you are a wife or a husband, you can't do those things. That's why the apostles had to put other people in charge so they can go and spend time with the Lord and find out what heaven was saying. You can't do that. If you are up occupying the outward spaces of life, okay? And so I wanted to go back on what I was speaking on on the other day. God bless each and every one of you. I want you to um, find your scripture, 1 Corinthians. Um, I do believe that we're going to start um, 1 Corinthians. Let's go, let's go. Um, we're talking about the builders and those that put this system in place and the purpose for them putting it in place because um, actually they're they're literally working for the Lord. Satan is the employee of the Most High. Satan is the employee of Yahuwah. I don't know if you know that, but he is. And so he is here to prove you. He is here to expose you. He is here to not just expose you to, come on, the world, because um, Yahuwah knows what you're all about. He knows why you do what you do, but he's here here to expose you to yourself so you can see whether or not you were with him in the beginning hallelujah hallelujah okay so i'm going to first corinthians let me get my scripture and um yesterday i started in matthews um i started talking about um england um remember that okay i was talking about how um they set this thing up starting in egypt in rome in england all the way to America. And the order was based on a Masonic foundation. It was based on the builders, the builders that use the, come on, the, the, the truth of Yahuwah's word to build a lie. They use the truth of Yahuwah's word to build a lie. And now this is going to lead you all the way back in to why you need to get inside the house. And the house is not just a temple that you go to, but the house is your physical temple that he came to dwell in, that he came to rest in, because we are the holy temples of Yahuwah. We are the holy temples of the Most High God. And so he came to live in us, to move in us, to make expression to the world through us. And if you don't have the truth, then you will never allow him inward. You will continue to do a form without manifestation. You will continue to do a form without becoming what you were destined to be. Okay, so the fathers, you got to forgive them. Our forefathers, the, 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 the fathers of the church. I'm talking about churches that were put in place doing slavery and then followed through um, by other bishops and preachers and pastors. You got to forgive these men of God. I know some of them have hurt you. I know some of them have taken you in a direction that have brought destruction to your families. I know some of them, they are 
following protocol. And protocol seem to work when it's benefiting the flesh. But when people are not being spiritually developed, when people are not being spiritually redeemed, then you got to, come on, you got to revisit that foundation. You got to revisit the purpose for that particular church organization and structure. You got to revisit that thing. And so forgive them. Say, I forgive you for hurting me. I forgive you for trying to kill me. I forgive you for all that you have done to me because I understand understand that you just didn't know. I say, I understand that you just didn't know because there is an eternal spirit in each of us, but they have been taught to lead us into a moral structure without spiritual redemption. And when you come out of yourself to try to come on, protect your flock, to try to rule over your flock, China, Russia, England, Israel, America, all of these people are measuring the space that you cover. So they are measuring your astro travel. They are measuring you. They are, come on, they are watching you. They are seeing what you are doing in those cosmic realms. So you are, come on, coming out. And when you come out, you find out that there is others there watching you. And some have come up under the subjugation of these different orders because they didn't know what else to do. Well, my brother, my sister, the way out of the chaos is in. That's biblical. The way out of the chaos is in. Matthew 24 and 14. Come on. Until this doctrine of the kingdom is preached in all the world, the end is not yet. I say the end is not yet. Okay, now Christianity um, teaches us how to act right. It teaches us how to walk in a direction that looks right. And we put on a form of God, but inwardly we are still ravenous wolves. What I mean, gay? Oh, I'm telling you that there is no transformation from within. And so they took the doctrines of Yahshua, the vesture of Yahshua, and they divided it among themselves to create something that was not biblical. I said, they didn't take away the truth. They took away you so you could not see the truth. Oh, hallelujah. Listen, you guys, I'm going to go to um, Corinthians. I want to just um, kind of give a little overdraft of what I talked about yesterday because it was kind of confusion, confusing. All right. So you didn't know that they set this up. And that it was set up by a Masonic order. And those that are in charge of the Masonry was the Knight Templars. And those that are in charge of the Knight Templars is the Illuminati. And so a lot of this stuff that is in place is coming from the Illuminati system. Okay. And, and this is why if you go and you research that movie, um, Angels and um, Demons, you're going to find out that that CERN um, um, machine was being used even in that movie. And they were talking about penetrating the God particle, even in that movie. Movie in 1990 something. And so if you go revisit that movie and look at that movie, you're going to find out that CERN was even out then, but it came out probably about 20 years ago because they don't give us any insight to nothing that they do until 10, 15, 20 years later. Okay. So look, you don't realize that this whole system that is set up by the Illuminati and most people don't meet them until they get to a certain digit in their monies, until they meet a certain digit in their finances, then they meet up with the Illuminati and the top of the Illuminati is Baphomet. I said the top of the Illuminati is Baphomet. So let me start first by showing you this picture because I didn't let you see the whole picture. So we're going we gonna to look at the whole picture. Okay. Remember I told you this is the eye. This eye is the eye of the Illuminati. All right. And, and this is where you were pulled out to during the period of your education. You were pulled out to yourself. You were pulled outside of yourself. Okay. To learn another man's knowledge to learn another man's information so you can find out how to function in this world. And then the hearing, which is the pole that comes through here, okay, is where you get your signals, which is connected to your brain waves, all right? And your body is connected to this. And this is why a lot of people are having spinal issues now. A lot of people are having problems with sleeping now because they're connected to this grid system. Now, this vertical grid, this is the Y chromosome, but it's also known 
known as the Y axis, which is the Zenith, which is the part that connects you to God. Okay. Well, they, <laughs> they pent the spirit man to this when they pull you out through your eyes. I made your eyes square because your eyes represent that four box, the four angles that you have been placed in the box, which is three dimensions of space that locks you out in the fourth dimension called time. And so now you are hanging on this tree. You're hanging on this, this cross because this is the system and the grid system of the world that have pinched you, that have pinched you by their knowledge, that have pinched you by their hearing, that have pinched you through the senses to this pole. Okay. And this is a Northern pole. This is not the true North, but this is a Northern pole that you have been tied to. And so now people are coming off. They're coming off the grid. And so they're dealing with back issues. They're dealing with a whole lot of issues that they weren't dealing with before because you've been connected to something that you cannot see. It is an imaginary line that was created by the knowledge of the world through the eye of the Illuminati. And this is on your money. And this is how they was able to found the system. I just wanted to redo that. Okay. All right. So that is the, that is the structure of the United States. It is the structure of Britain. It came from Egypt. I said it came from Egypt but it was used by Rome. All right. So it came from Egypt. Masonry came from Egypt. It didn't come from Britain. It didn't come from England. It came from Egypt. So they're using something. So when Rome and eat, when Rome used the information of Egypt to bring people into bondage, it's a hard way to find, find your way out. Once you've been poured out of yourself, you've been poured out of yourself. So I wanted to go back to that and I want to do this over sleep. So you, the, um, so you measured, you've been measured by um, biological weapons by biological instruments through NASA, through engineers, and all of these different people that are working in places that you cannot see. And so their job is to keep you locked into this mass called the body, this body mass. It, you are assigned to this space, okay? And they manipulate this space. I look, the Lord made me study not only how they manipulate space, how they are able to locate you uh -huh, through the Amalek. Look, he made me study all this stuff. At first, I was frustrated because I didn't understand. But he told me, Gabe, they can follow you. They they are locating you. They know how to find you. You don't have to do no talking because when you were born into this world, you were then placed on the grid through the y, through the GW... <laughs> Um, the, the, the Brunswick clock, that is the real and the official Meridian line. Okay. Now slow down gay. Cause I'm teaching. I don't want to preach. This was a great scheme by Satan. And for you that think that you're unqualified, let me tell you, if you come from a low place, you're one of the candidates that God will choose because he hide what is valuable in the dirt. I said he hide what's valuable in the dirt. Then he dig it up and then he cleans it and he makes it. Come on. He makes it where it is a value where people will be able to receive it, you know, after it gets cleaned up. But think about it. Gold, you have to dig for it. Uh -huh. Diamonds, you have to dig for it. Pearls, you have to dig for it. Everything valuable. Rubies, you have to dig for it. Everything valuable, you have to seek out. It is buried most of the time in something that's not clean. All right. So never count yourself out because of your background. Never count yourself out because of where you come from, because the Lord take the foolish things of the world to confound the wise. These are the things that God has chosen. He don't choose many scholarly people. He teaches people. The Bible say morning by morning. This is what Isaiah said. He awaketh me with the tongue of the learned. So he will teach you what he wants you to give to others. So we have been elected by heaven. And we have a cloud of witnesses rooting for us to make it. Okay. They are a cloud of witnesses rooting for us to make it to our destination, which is back home to the house, which is our physical house. Okay. So church has been, uh huh, the, the escape for slaves since slavery. We were allowed to go into our churches to 
celebrate the great I am. Although we didn't understand the kingdom message because it was replaced with Christianity, we did not understand what the kingdom message was because that was moved out of the way and we were given a doctrine that helped us to become moralized, but not redeemed, not restored, not reconciled to ourselves and to our creator. And so we were slaves and we're still slaves. You got to understand that you're in a system of slavery. Okay. And now Satan, oh, he, he, he panned this thing out good, y'all. He made this thing so concrete that only God, only Yahuwah can get us out. Only the great I am can get us out of this situation that we have been bound to since birth. Only he can do it. And so when he calls you in, don't be afraid because it's going to cause a collapse of the old man. Because as you know, in physics, two, two, come on, one entity cannot occupy the same space at the same time. And so one has to collapse in order for the other to be restored. And so, yes, the outer man will collapse and you will look shameful. You will look crazy. You will look like you don't know where you're going or what you're doing because you have already been dilated into the world. Your mind has already been connected to the way of the world. And so to do things according to the kingdom will look backwards to the world that you have been planted in. And to be planted in a lie and to be planted in the world is still being planted in the plantation. And so the plantation is a place where we have been bound to uphold something that gives only a certain percentage of people wealth. You are the slave, but they are the ones that rule over you as the masters. Mm. They're the master builders. So church was always a wonderful place to go. I don't knock church. But if it's not a place where you're learning and moving into the kingdom that live inside of you, if they don't know the way in, what did Yahshua say? He said, he said this, he said, you do shut up the kingdom of God or the kingdom of heaven against man because you yourselves have not entered. And so therefore, if they're teaching something that goes against what's in you, they're giving you something that goes against what's in you. You are being shut up against yourself, against your creator that dwells inside of you. And so the kingdom has been shut up. You can't get in because you're holding out here. You're stuck on a cross. You're stuck on a grid that, come on, that fights you when you try to go in. It fights you with money. Mm -hmm. And the Lord told me, he said, gay, if you obey me, I'll take care of you. And sometimes when he tell you that it don't look like he's going to take care of you because Satan will never support the truth. Satan will never. So, and, and no, I am not calling people Satan. What I am saying to you that what Satan has built and what he has given, he has given something that people go with because like philosophy, if it worked, don't change it. Okay. So why would something that has already been tried and tested through propositions and axions and the way that the, that, that the, um, philosophers had put things in place? Why would you try to go against something that makes it more comfortable for your flesh not to suffer? Okay. So Satan has already set something in place that says, look, if they try to get in, then we can whip them with Look, with responsibility, we can whip them with problems of the world. We can put this pressure on them and we can make them go back to the field. We can make them go back to the world and they will never get in. Oh, you got to be willing to love him enough to deny the outer man, the man that is tied to a lie, the man that is in covenant with the world, the man that is in covenant with the systems of Satan. You got to be willing to let him go. I'm going to show you something. And so the slaves are happy, although they are shackled. The slaves are happy because their flesh is not in pain. 
but your spirit is crying out daily. Your spirit is saying, please help me because this is why the world is crying out with money, with food in their mouth. They're crying with food in their mouth. They're come on. They're crying out to God saying, help me. I am void of myself. I am void of life. I don't know what to do. Come on. They have millions and billions of dollars, but they are void because they've been stretched beyond themselves. They don't have themselves. They don't know that they don't have themselves, but they have become a gift on a stage. They have become a gift to the system. So they will be able to benefit the satanic antichrist system that was put in place. Look, they call it an antichrist system. And so they can't call it an antichrist, but his name is Yeshua Hamashiach. That's his name. So we started going on Sunday to worship their God. Their masters permitted this gathering the churches into one place so we will feel that we are doing something right this is where self-righteousness come right self-righteousness come in we feel that we are doing something right because we go to a church and do religious things no, you are right when you become what you were destined to be. And when the father looks upon you, he sees what he thought about you in the day of your creation. So you are right when you become upright before him. You are right when you are manifested and you become what he has spoken about you before the foundation of the world. This is when you are right. This is when you are walking in righteousness. And to get there, it takes faith. But but faith operates by love and love comes from the birth of God because God is love. And when you are born of God, then you are born of love and you are able to move under the auspices of faith because of the lover of your soul. You know that he exists. You know that he's with you. You know, you can walk this, come on, you can walk this invisible place knowing that he will open up a way where there seems no way. And it is a scary place to go. Because the world is going in one direction. And because the whole world is going that way, we believe that we're going the wrong way when we are called in to the kingdom. So I gave you 1 Peter 1 and 20 about the election and about being chosen beforehand. I gave you Ephesians 1 and 4 that you were predestined before the foundation of the world. I gave you Romans 8 33 letting you know that it is in him that we are chosen and that we have been subjugated to this thing Come on, the Bible say that the creature was subject to vanity unwillingly. You was not willing to be subject. You were made subject to the outside, which is vain, which is vanity unwillingly. My God. So let's go. Let's go real quick to 1 Corinthians, the second chapter. This is one of my favorites, you guys. Because God gave me this when I felt that I was unqualified. When I felt, I, I mean, I said, Lord, who would listen to me? And if you're going to call me and send me, why would you put me in a female body? Don't you know they don't want females talking? That's what I used to say. People say, how do you talk to the Lord like that? Don't you know he's in your brain? Don't you know you can't be a hypocrite with him? He sees all that you say. Okay. So when he calls you. Yes, you feel unqualified. You feel that you are not the one. But he only called you because you fall in love with him. He calls you because he know your love for him will keep you in a place of obedience. Now listen to what he says here. I'm in, I'm in um, 1 Corinthians. And I'm starting at the first chapter. And I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to start at the. Um, let's start at the. 22nd verse. Now I'm going to start at the 21st verse. For after that, in the wisdom of Yahuwah, the world by wisdom knew not Yahuwah. Look, it was by wisdom that we knew him, but the world by, by wisdom did not know him. See, they thought they were wise, but it was through their wisdom that they didn't know him. Listen to what it says. By, by wisdom, um, um, by wisdom knew knew um, knew not Yahuwah. It pleased God or Yahuwah by the foolishness of preaching to save them that believe. So he used preaching, although it seemed foolish, 
to bring people into deliverance. Okay. He used wisdom. He used preaching to bring people into deliverance. Listen to what he says here on, in the 22nd verse of um, first Corinthians, um, the first chapter for the Jews or Hebrews require a sign. They do. And that's why a lot of them are running out the money because that's their sign. Okay. A sign. And the Greeks, seek wisdom and they do that's why they created the system of philosophy and that's why they created the system of reason okay because they require wisdom but we preach yeshua or christ crucified so we preach christ crucified because you got to kill the old man you got to kill the man that is come on in the flesh that will not give total preeminence to the spirit man that lives on the inside. He said, Christ crucified unto the Jews. Yeshua uh, said that this was a stumbling block because they don't want nothing to die. All right. And unto the Greeks, it was foolishness because they were so smart. They had so much wisdom. They could not comprehend that. Okay, listen, you guys, listen, this is powerful. But unto them which are called um, both Jew and Greek, he called them both. Christ, the power of Yahshua and the wisdom of God. Because the foolishness of God is wiser than men. I say what God deemed as foolishness is wiser than the men that are, are, are making up all this stuff. Uh-huh. And the, and the wisdom of God... Mm, because the foolishness of God is wiser. I'm, I'm, I'm losing. I'm getting excited. Wiser than men. And the weakness of Yahuwah is stronger than men. I mean, he's strong even in, come on, his weakness, he's stronger than man. All right. Okay. <laughs> For ye see your calling, brethren, how many wise men after the flesh. I want you to hear this. How many wise men, this is what he gave me when he said to me, he wanted me to do what he wanted me to do. I said, God, I'm not qualified. God, they're not going to hear what I have to say. Lord, I got the wrong vessel. Lord, I don't have the right education. I didn't come from the right family. They're not going to hear what you want me to say, he said, gay, I love you and you love me. And this is why I chose you because your love will keep you committed to what I tell you to do. See, love causes us to obey him. That's why those that say that they love him and keep not his command and keep not what he has spoken. The Bible say that they are liars and they are not telling the truth. They love themselves. Listen to what it says. For ye see your calling, brethren, how many, not how many, how that not many wise after the flesh, not many mighty, not many noble are called. But Yahuwah, God, have chosen the foolish things of the world to confuse or confound the wise. And God or Yahuwah have chosen the weak things of the world to confound or to confuse the things that are mighty. Those that think that they are great. Those that think that they are all powerful. God have chosen the, come on, the, 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 the weakest element of the world, which you think ain't nothing, which you think ain't got nothing going for him. He said he have chosen something like that to confound or confuse the mighty. That's what he said. That's what he said. He have not chosen um, those things that are great and, and, and mighty. No, 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 no. Listen, and base things, things that are beneath you, uh huh. <laughs> base things of the world and things which are despised, those things that you don't even, you look your nose up, those things that you think ain't nothing. God have chosen these things to confound, to confuse the people that are mighty, the people that think they got wisdom. The Bible say that God have chosen these types of people to confound the world. Listen, you guys, he said that no flesh, that no flesh, come on, and things that, things which are nothing or not to bring to nothing the things that are. So he chose those things that are nothing, that are considered to be nobody, to bring to nothing the things that think that they are all of that in a piece of, come on, come on, come on, in a slice of bread. He said, I'm, I'm calling the nobodies. I'm calling the people that you 
spit upon, that you look upon with disgrace and despise. I'm calling these things to confound the world, that I might be proven mighty, that I might be proven great in their life, not just in their life, but in the world. Mm -hmm. He said that no flesh in the 29th verse, that no flesh should glory in his presence. And that's all we got standing in the presence of God right now, the flesh. And this came from that system that I was telling you about. And so now Satan, who is moving quickly, I say he's moving quickly because this is almost like the Tower of Babel. You have all of these religions coming together and now they're becoming a one world religion. And now they're talking about making, come on, ex, they, they're making a, making a pathway into the soul of man that they might be able to penetrate the God particle. And God said, like the foolish virgin, people are still hanging outside the house. Yeah, you got the lamp. You got the lamp. The lamp is a word. It is a word. That's what the Bible say, that the lamp is the word of God. It is a word unto, it is a light unto our pathway. But the oil, the oil of God, that is what keeps the lamp lit. That is the anointing, the power in the spiritual substance of God. That is what keeps it lit. But those that are you look, you're still a virgin because you have not been penetrated. You have not been accessed, but Satan want to access it now. And he's controlling people with that. Look, first it was heart. Then it was Gwen. Uh -huh. All of these are weapon trees to neutralize you in the flesh, to keep you holding to the outside. You think you're going the wrong way when it get painful, when it becomes tormenting. No, they're telling you, go back. They're beating you. Get back in. They're telling you, don't go that way. But when you want to go in to the truth, so you can be manifested, so you can become what you were destined to be, the beating, it starts on the house. It starts on the flesh. He renews our strength. He renews us. We are spiritual beings living out of clay pots. But if the clay pot is being directed by an antichrist system, then the spirit man is on a trail of hell. It is on its way to the, oh my God, listen to this, you guys. And so he said he don't want no, no flesh glorying in his sight. So, but of him, but, but no flesh will glory, but of him are ye in Christ, Yahshua, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who of God or Yahuwah is made unto us wisdom, righteousness, righteousness which is not a form but a manifestation sanctification which is to be set apart which is be separated from the ways of the world and redemption which is to be redeemed that means that you are coming alive again you the life of god is being redeemed in us the life of god is being redeemed in us and so he called us to sanctification set apart from the ways of the world Redemption, uh-huh. Redeemed in the spirit, uh-huh. Righteousness, to be upright according to what he thought about us in the day of our creation. And so I want to show you something real quick um, because in my last uh, message, I said, and you know, I don't come up every day. I only come up when I'm led. But because Satan is moving so quickly with this um, CERN, this CERN, come on now, you guys. They're trying to go in to heaven, like they did at the Tower of Bible, a Babel. The languages are coming together again. The religions are coming together again. All the religions are becoming one. And now the kingdom message of Yahshua is about to be lost forever. Because if the kingdom is not preached and men and women are not going into the kingdom, and they are being locked outside of themselves, and now God is about to close the door of the spirit so you cannot get in. Because Satan ain't getting in there. Because you know that in the book of Job, the Bible say when the sons of Yahuwah came before the Lord, that Satan was with him, with them. So he could only go in with them. He gets in through us. He has no more doorway in. He was kicked out of there, according to Romans, I mean, according to Revelation, the 12th chapter. He was cast out of the heavenly domains. And so now Satan, only way in to the heavenly domains is through those that has heaven inside of them. And the Bible say in Matthew 6 and 33, that if you seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, then everything that we need shall be added. 
And so you got to be willing to lose. You got to be willing. If you're on the ground floor, come on, come on in. Come on into the house if you're on the ground floor. But you got to be willing to lose. You got to be willing to lose in order to go in. Because there's a collapse that's going to come to the outward men. There's a collapse that's going to come out. Come on, come on. The, the flesh is in covenant with the world. The spiritual redemption, the spiritual manifestation, it takes place when we go inside. When the Lord first told me that I had to come out of the world, I was scared. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to do. And nobody believed me because I, I was still going to the religious church. I'm, and I'm not against the church, y'all. I love the saints of God. But it doesn't matter whether I love them if they're going in the wrong way and I continue to go with them. And I know that it's the wrong way, but because I feel insignificant, because God has called in something foolish to confound the wise. Okay, look, I, I didn't want to say I didn't want to go. Because you have to let go of the one, the way of the world that has taught you that money is where we're going to make it. You got to fast because your flesh has been in charge since the day of your birth. And you don't even realize that your spirit man has been neutralized and that he's on a humming sound. Uh huh. That's why a lot of people meditate and they, you know, all that hum, yeah, all that kind of crap like that. Like I told my Muslim brothers, my brothers of Hinduism, my brothers and sisters of Buddhism. Look, you can find you, but the Lord didn't just, Yahshua didn't just lead us to ourselves. He led us to the Father. He went beyond himself. So this is not about a Christ consciousness. This is about you getting back to your creator. So your creation can be made fulfilled. So your creation can be made whole. Look, he drew us out of the water, Satan. At birth, we went out, we were drawn out of ourselves to the world, to a dry place. Yeah, it's a dry place. And this is why Yahshua said that straight is the gate. Straight is the gate. Straight, S-T-R-A-I-T. Small body of water disconnected from the rivers. It's a small body of water that have been disconnected from the rivers. But if you do not connect to the rivers of life that is able to watch us and cleanse us of all unrighteousness, of everything that we have, come on, infiltrated ourselves with, everything that we have put inside of ourselves to try to make it out here in this lie, then the waters that are broken off from the river will become a part of another water and that water is the marine kingdom and the bible say that the sea will be no more after heaven and earth is passed away the sea will be no more because the dragon is at the bottom of the sea so if you got a whole roman catholic organization that gave birth to a woman called christianity and in this woman there's babies everywhere because we're trying to be like Christ. He ain't never tell us to do that. But we're trying to be like Christ. That's why he said, if anybody come in my name, don't believe him. Because he came to lead us to the Father. He came to take us into the holies of holies. Uh -huh. The holy just means he came to take you into a place where you can be made whole. Where you can be made everything you were destined to be. Where you can be made what the great I am have spoken concerning you. So if you are a prophet and you have a prophetic mantle on your life, how can you prophesy outside of his mind? You cannot. You cannot. Your senses will confuse the prophecy. Your senses will, in, come on, your, will infiltrate the prophecy. So when you're being pulled out like Moses was, 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 was shipped off in a basket called an ark. And I'm going to tell you something. That ark represents the ark of the covenant. Because the presence of God was in that basket because he would then come to play, come, it would come to play where he would begin to put the Ten Commandments in place. Okay? And he was shipped off and the woman and the people of Egypt took him over. 
and they began, come on now, you got three arcs. You got the Ark of Moses that he was abiding in. You have the Ark of the Covenant. And then you have the Ark that Moses, that, that Noah built to get out of the first world. Okay? So you have the first Ark that was built at 120. You have um, Moses who built the, <laughs> who came in the Ark and he died at 120 or left at 120. And then you have, come on now, you guys. Then you have the Ark of the Covenant that it, it was, I mean, I mean, the Ark of the Covenant where the presence of God was now going to live inside of the vessels of man. And they went to receive this present on the day of Pentecost uh -huh, in the upper room. Uh, come on, Acts, the second chapter. And how many was there? 120. So you got 120 with Noah. You got 120 with, um, with Moses leaving. And then you have 120 at the upper room. And this is the move that we now dwell in right now, the upper room experience. And that 120, 120, 120 comes to what? 360. We have come full circle. It is time to get in the race. It's time to move by the spirit of Yahuwah. Because now Satan is trying to access the heaven domain and he's using technical support God told me this years ago he is the prince of the air he deals in technology he has no spiritual attributes because he has been kicked out of the spiritual domain and so he used technology and so he uses radio he uses applied pressure atmospheres uh, come on atmosphere are manipulated by engineers by physics by those that are under the influence of the Willie Lynch. Come on, slave masters. Uh huh. So we using all of these things to keep us bound uh -huh, to the outer man where we don't understand that there is a spiritual origin and we must manifest and become before the door of the spirit shut. Oh my God, we are in trouble because now they're racing. Uh huh. They're racing. And some of us that have been chosen, we've been hiding. We've been trying to stay away from the fire. Uh -huh, because they're burning us with weapon trees. They're burning us. Oh yeah, it ain't always witchcraft. It ain't always sorcery. It ain't always black magic. Sometimes it is nuclear. Sometimes it is nuclear weapons. I said sometimes it's nuclear because they don't want you to go in. They're messing with the body so the spirit man will not be able to gain access. Oh my God. Listen, you guys, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So Moses was extended outward like us. And he was raised in the house with Pharaoh and all of his children like us. He took on their laws. He learned their ways in everything. And their religion became his religion until he was called out by the great I am. The law is what they used in the temples because they cannot access the kingdom without self-denial. The kingdom is only accessed through self-denial. You got to deny the outward man because that man don't have no life in it. It is only there to be satisfied according to nature. So listen, you guys. So being spiritually redeemed, the story of Christmas was born in Egypt. But Yahshua also ran there, trying to escape. This is a true man that came from heaven. They just changed his name because they weren't going to bow down to what he looked like. Okay? They weren't going to bow down to him. Okay? Come on, you got the Pope with a man hanging on a stick. And every time they... Now, now this is not just for blacks, I'm telling you. Because when we integrated, everybody became a product of what was done by the Antichrist. Okay? So this is not just for us anymore. This is for anybody that is bound. This is for anybody that is under the lie and the ostracies of the lies. So this is not just a black message. This is a message to those that love him, to those that want him, to those that want to receive him. I'm telling you, this is a message for all. Even to those Hebrews that say that they are Hebrews. Yeah, he came for the 144, but the Bible say after that, it was a number that no man could count. And so this is not just for Hebrews. 
news. This is for all that will receive him. And so when you understand that we have been extended outward and they are studying us like we ain't nothing. They're studying our mass. They're studying how far we grow, how big we become spiritually. They're studying us. We ain't number the scientific laboratory rent. Yeah. Basically, this is the last, you guys. And so when you're broken off from yourself, that's that pyramid. When your eye went out, when you went out, you were broken off. And that's why the pyramid is broken. Because your subconscious man is buried in the tomb. He's, he's in the tomb. You, you got to get to him. And I got to him because I left everything that, that was right to the world. And I look crazy to family. I look crazy to this person. People call you witches and all of these kinds of things because they can't break you or make you submit to the lie. But let me tell you something, sweetheart. When the call becomes great on the inside, your reputation is non and void because that is only tied to the ego anyway. So you don't care about what other people think anymore. You only care about pleasing your father. You only care about the lover of your soul. And so now that we are moving inward, now that the Lord is calling us out of this system because Satan is about to penetrate the wall of particles. Come on, you guys. Particle that connects to God. Why is he doing this? Why are they doing this? Because it's Satan. It is all Satan, he wants to get in by any means necessary. Look, I'm just going to say this one more thing. It's important that we connect to him. If you don't connect to him, you're not going to know him. See, when you die, this is for sinners. The reason why this message is so imperative, you have a spirit. Your spirit came from a spiritual supreme being. If your spirit never make a connection with that supreme being, then when you die, your spirit, when it awakens, will not have anywhere to go because it doesn't know anything beyond nature. What the system did is subjugated the spiritual substance of God that is without identity, without knowing who it or he or she is to nature. And then it began to fasten you and shaping you according to iniquity. And your spirit man believes that it is this. Your spirit man believes that it is nature, but it's not. And that's why the rapture is true to you that don't believe in it. When the father withdraw his spirit from the earth because of the corruption, if you are not connected to his spirit, you will not be a part of the withdrawal. That's what the rapture is. To be raptured happens with love. Okay? So when he rapture his spirit out of the earth, those that are connected to his spirit will be raptured with him. But if you're not connected, you're going to be left here and the spirit will be exhausted and penetrated by the systems. They're living off of your energy. They're living off of your life. There is no life outside of God, whether they want to believe it. And I don't believe that the world is coming to an end. I believe that it's becoming a mechanical world and that God is being X'd out where there is going to be no God consciousness. Everything will be animal. So you'll have the soul with the intellect You'll have the soul with the intellect and the emotion, but you won't have the spirit of God. That's what cloning is. Cloning is to give a person an intellect and an emotion based on nature. But the spirit of God is not, not there. And if they try to close the door where God can't get in through human race, through the human race, then there ain't going to be no more God, period. <laughs> okay, no more. All right. So he's going to withdraw himself. And so, you guys, we got to prepare ourselves. We got to get ready. We have to get ready because they're close, the Lord is closing the door. He's not going to let Satan in. He can't come in. He can't come into those domains. And so, if you don't get in, you're not going to be able to get in. If you don't come in, you're not going to be able to get in. 
I love you with an everlasting love. I'm not trying to ruin your holiday. I just know that this holiday is all about marketing. It's not about Yahshua because he wasn't even born on this day. But you can make it about him. Okay. That's what I used to say. But it's not about him. And that tree, Jeremiah talked about that tree long before Christ ever came on the scene. So I don't even know where that came from. But to my understanding, they integrated a whole lot of paganism into the Christianity to get everybody to, to, to play a part in it. You know, the scheme. You know, so, I mean, you, you have to make the choice. But nobody's here to badger you. Nobody's here to make you feel bad. Because you are, because when I was a little girl, Christmas was a big deal. I mean, we didn't get a whole lot for Christmas when I was growing up, you know, but it was just the, the presence and the ambiance and the, the family thing that made it so wonderful, you know, but why can't we have that anyway? Why can't we have that without the, the symbol of Christmas and trees? We should already have that. Christ should make us like that. You understand? We should always, we should have our own, our own day of giving gifts and loving on each other. It shouldn't have to be because of a, a, a lie. Because the day that Yahshua is born is the day he is born in you. It's the day he is born in you. And when he is born in you, he will reunite you with your true and living father. The Abba Yah, Yahuwah, the great I Am. I love you with an everlasting love. You guys have a blessed and wonderful weekend. And thank you for allowing me to come back up and straighten this thing out. Bye-bye. See you later. Mm-hmm.